Ethereum and Zillica. Ethan Zill. Yeah. A lot of people have heard about the dual mining for that. But did you know you don't have to use the pool that comes with ETH and Zill? You can mine ETH somewhere else and still do the dual mining on Zill. And even better yet, you can even do it with Raven and Zill. Let me show you how. Okay, so this is basically going to be like my version of a tutorial or a quick walkthrough of, yes, you can do this, and I'm using Hive OS for this. So if you're doing this on Windows, I don't know. I haven't used Windows really in like 10 years. I'm a Linux person. So this tutorial is basically for Hive OS, and you can adapt the settings to whichever operating system you're using. So... What we're doing is normally for uh, Ethereum and Zill, Zillica dual mining, you only have a few pools to work with. So actually, let's do that. Let's look it up. So if you go to mining pool stats.stream, these are the Zillica pools that are available. And basically, you join these pools and you mine Ethereum 99.5% of the time but once every hour and a half, roughly somewhere around there, uh, or 100 minutes, 120 minutes, something like that, it will switch for 90 seconds and mine Zillica. Because Zillica is not a constantly mined uh, cryptocurrency, sort of like anything else, like Ethereum, Raven, um, yeah, all the rest of the ones. But they're only mined in little rounds and the round usually lasts 90 seconds and it's done every 100 to 120 minutes so of course the most popular one is easel.me and that's the one we're going to use today because it's the one i could really figure out but then you got shard pool rust pool k1 pool and i'm so gonna mess no i'm gonna mess up that last one let's not do that but there's only a few options and for me i wanted to continue mining ethereum on the hive on pool so but i still wanted to get the last little bit of um zillica so i figured out how to do that while mining ethereum using team red miner um using amd cards because that's what it's for now if you're on uh, nvidia cards i'm not sure how you would do this you'd have to look into maybe using nano miner which also supports dual mining and you have to go through their settings a little bit. But for right now, I am dual mining with Team Redminer. Unfortunately, uh, Hive OS does not have it fully integrated. You kind of got to do some wizardry to get it to work. And I'm going to show you how that works. But it is dual mining. So if we go over to my flight sheet here. And we can see here, the first thing you need to do is make up a flight sheet here which has your Ethereum address. Now, this is basically the same if you're doing the other five pools, like if you were mining directly into their pool. You will put your Ethereum address for your wallet, then a dot, and then your Zillica address, and that would work fine. Now, here's where you got to change it. Since I'm using Hive on pool, I... And I'm in North America. I'm in Delaware, so I got to use your North American West Ethereum pool. That goes for your server URL, your first one. Then the second one goes for, for me, us-east.easel.me pool. That is the Zillica pool. Now, normally, if you were just mining Ethereum and Zillica for Easel, that would be the only line you'd have in there. But we want that as the second line. Okay, so let's look directly in the setup here on the flight sheet. And you can see we're still doing ET hash. The wallet is still the same, the worker is the same, the pool URL, and the password is all the stock settings. No big deal. Now, for me, I have this dash D0123. That's just telling Team Redminer that I want to mine off of cards 0, 1, 2, and 3, as those are 8 gigabyte cards. Uh, cards 4 and 5 are 4 gigabyte cards, so I have those relegated to Ravencoin. 
The second option is not also not relevant to this video. That is just to try to get a little bit more hash rate out of Polaris cards. And it works on my system. It might work on yours. It might not. This video is not about that. Here's the last thing what you need. Right here, you need to add this line in for it to work. Dash dash pull underscore strategy equals minimum epoch. So with that minimum epoch setting, basically it makes Team Redminder connect to both of these servers at the same time. And that's how it controls how it automatically mines Ethereum on Hivon 99.5% of the time. And it keeps an eye on the Zilliqa server. When Zilliqa is ready to do its 90 seconds worth of mining, something changes on the uh, server and it says, hey, it's my turn. So it switches automatically over to mine Zilliqa for the 90 second duration of that round. And when it's done, it immediately automatically switches back over to mining Ethereum on the Hive On. Now, if I shoot on over here and you can see Team Red Miner, you can see it connecting to both of them right now all the time. Now, it's currently mining on Hive On. It's doing ET hash Ethereum 166. You can see right here, it's scrolling around pretty fast. But when that 90 seconds come up, you will see the status switch over and it will start mining on the easel.me server. So that's how it works beautifully. And you can see for however long I've had this on, I have mined, yeah, see there's two Ethereum shares that just went through. I have 29 uh, Zillica shares submitted between those four cards for as long as I've been up mining, which is in this case, 10 hours and seven minutes. Now, if you're like me and you're using Team Red Miner for your eight gigabyte cards to mine Ethereum because it's the most efficient, a good fallback for the rest of your four gig cards that are AMD is Nano Miner. Now, this is integrated into Hive OS a little bit better because you can at least see both of them. You can see Raven, you can see the Zilliqa information. Although when it does switch over, the uh, Nano Miner mining program switches over for that 90 seconds, it doesn't show up here. So it's not fully integrated, but at least it does show it up on here. So again, I have my RX 470 and my 570, which are 4K cards. They also switch over for 90 seconds and do Zilliqa mining when the time comes. So again, on the flight sheet, let's go to edit. You can actually see here, there's my Raven coin. There's my Zillica uh, coin. My Now this addresses are separated. So I have just my Raven address, just my Zillica address. I have my Raven set to go to Flypool. That's who I use for Raven mining. And then I have down here Easel, which is already built in. Now if I go to the miner config, and you can see here, the first algorithm is uh, Kapow, which is for Ravencoin. And the second coin is for Zill, Zillica. Now, you have to, if you're only going to use certain cards like I am, you have to add the devices into each algorithm, into each one. Otherwise, there's no real special sauce. Nanominer is integrated and it works a lot easier with it than Team Redminer does. But if you set yours up this way, you can actually mine Ravencoin and Zillica. So if I go on over here to Easel for your pool stats, so you can see I've only been doing this for, what, three or four days or so. I've already got 18 Zillica coins or 18 Zill coins. Minimum payout is 30 for Easel.me. So I got a few more days before I get a payout. And remember, this is only, I have 170 mega hash of Ethereum and 10, wait, no, 10, hold on, 18, 18 to 20 roughly for um, Ravencoin for Kapow. Now you'll see the uh, hash rate kick up on these because the uh, Zillica DAG file is just under one gigabyte. So you actually get almost 30 mega hashes a second for those 90 seconds on your four gigabyte cards. So you do get a fair amount of hash rate. I think total I get like uh, 220 or so. Let's 
see here. Yeah, roughly about 230 when I'm hashing for them. And you can see since I'm not using them for Ethereum, I have no Ethereum. I have no other information filled in here because they're expecting you to be hashing Ethereum on their pool and then also switching over to Zilliqa. Since I'm only using it for the Zilliqa part, a lot of this isn't filled out because it doesn't have the information for it. It just has the Zilliqa information. And you can see here, this is when each one pops up. And the difficulty is definitely a lot more volatile with this. So sometimes I will get a lot of shares in that 90 seconds. Sometimes I won't. And you can see the payouts or rewards. I don't have a payout yet. Uh, the last one, it just went through. I only got 0.32, then 0.59. There's one here I practically hit one coin all in one shot. Another one almost won. But it does bounce around, but it's great to get that extra few percent, and it helps you diversify your coin bags or whatever you want to call them, your portfolio. Yeah, it helps diversify it a little bit more. And it's not really costing you anything because it's only 90 seconds every hour and a half. It's no worse than maybe, what, a 1% dev fee on the mining. It's the same deal, except that you're actually getting something out of it. So yeah, I basically just wanted to bring this up to everyone's attention because a lot of people know about Ethereum and Zilliqa, but they don't want to mine on easel.me for their Ethereum. So here's an, another way of doing it, and you can use your own pool, and you can even do it with Ravencoin. And actually, you yeah, added Raven and Zilliqa. There's another one in here. Okay, so on NanoMiner, you can also do Ethereum, Ethereum Classic, Conflux, and Ergo coin with Zilliqa. It does support that. I haven't tried any of them. I've only done Ravencoin, but this should at least steer you in the right direction so you can get that extra few percentage points and out of your uh, GPUs. So if you like this video, smash the like button for me, please. It always helps. Uh, share this around the mining community because some people may know about it, but I don't think a lot of people really utilize this easy way to get a few extra cents per day. And I will see you on the next video.